Now let's take a, a little bit deeper look into the, um, the front panel and the display of the Yaesu FTDX 1200. I want to share with you a couple of features that I really like and uh, that I use on occasion. Some of them more often than others, but uh, uh, what we have here at the bottom of the display is your, uh, your scope, which shows you activity on the band. And because this radio only has one receiver, the scope only becomes active when you um, turn the VFO knob. So right now the scope is not active. This is kind of your real-time scope uh, showing you what's going on on the frequency that you're monitoring, but you don't really see any frequencies above or below uh, where you're at. You only see exactly what you're listening to up here. You also notice there's a R and T right here, and that is receive and transmit. If I actually uh, put the, the radio in split where you're going to receive on one frequency and transmit on another, you'll see that these uh, two lines separate. So now you have your receive frequency here, your transmit here, and you'll see your VFO A and your VFO B at the top. So you'll see your different frequencies here as well. Let's go ahead and turn split off. <clears throat> and you'll notice that the lines come together. So I want to show you uh, what it looks like when the scope becomes active. I'm going to turn the VFO knob and over here you're going to see uh, uh, this become active. Now when it becomes active the audio on the radio is cut. So I don't hear any audio at this time but I do see the peaks. So um, when people talk you'll see a peak appear here in the display. There's one right there. There's several of them actually. So if I go and park on one and turn the volume up. He's on 135, so 5135 is where he's sitting. But you see how I found that station by looking at the scope. Um, <clears throat> the more you turn it, here's another one up here. So you kind of park right in here. He's probably on, he's either on 169 or 170. Yeah. There we go. So that's how you can find stations that are out there. Uh, it makes it very, very handy. There's, there's, there's actually two right in there, so it's probably 165. Yep. Oh, no, he's at 164. So uh, that's kind of a quick demo of the scope. So one last thing I wanted to show you. I'll turn this volume down a little bit. Is digital noise reduction. So if I press the uh, the scope button up here at the top, you'll see that I have DNR turned off. Now, if I turn DNR on, it'll actually let me go to somewhere where no one's talking. It'll you'll get a better idea of what's going on. So you hear this static or frying sound in the background. Let's go back to DNR, and I'm going to select that. And you hear how it just pulls that static right out. It just it basically eliminates it almost. All right, let's leave the DNR on. Go back to our scope. And let's find a station. Shouldn't be. There's one right there. We'll go park, park on. The band is up and down, and I'm sure others might be copying you much better than I am. But uh, uh, you're in Mississippi. And it's good to, good to hear you popping through here. And I'm going to just stay on frequency and listen for a little while. Thank you very much for the call. K7, oh, flat tire. All right, let's go in and turn the uh, DNR off again. And you'll hear how the static comes back. And you'll see it here in the, in the real-time scope. And let's go... Turn it back on, and you'll see how it's almost disappeared. Volume level, I've kept the volume at the same place right there. I haven't changed a thing. So let's go back and do that one more time, and you'll see how it comes up. All right, so I hope you enjoy the little demo of the FTDX 1200. Those are some features I use quite a bit. Split frequency especially when you're trying to work uh, DX stations. Uh, you need to be familiar with how to do that. 
uh, the, the band scope and locating stations uh, that are out there uh, either above or below the frequency that you're on the scope comes in very handy for finding those uh, transmissions uh, you know and then also the digital noise reduction if you're uh, sitting here listening to the radio a lot you don't really feel like listening to this static or frying sound uh, as much sometimes so you can enable the DNR and it will cut that out hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching this is KC5 TGT 73.